Hi, I'm Amanda and today I'm editing my photos and videos from CF 2022 as a boothing artist. So this is just for me but if you need it as an advice or inspiration, I hope it helped you. So here I am unboxing my stickers, I'm super excited and one advice for you, if you laminate your stickers, it, the edges will be curled. If you don't laminate your stickers, it won't be waterproof, so yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm speaking English because it makes me less awkward because it's like a presentation for me. Here are what you will get if you register a payment QR code from Touch and Go. Uh, I suggest you to have one because it's so convenient and you can receive the payment the next business day, so it's very convenient. Next thing here is what I experienced. So if you are printing something online, if you want to get a cheaper price, you can arrange your A5 printing in one A4 or A3. The seller might give you cheaper price because they don't have to print that much of papers. But keep in mind, you do have to cut it yourself and make a mess at your house. <laughs> And here we have all the products before prep day, all ready for prepping for CF. And when we leave, we are trying to protect our products with a huge plastic bag. And now we're heading to convention center. Walking to the convention center, it was so waku waku and it's quite quiet the day before CF. This is fading, my beloved booth mate, and we are waiting for another guy to give us the tech to get into the hall to get prepared. So this is how our booth look like at the end, and lights are so important for your booth. You don't know when you will be put in a super dark hall, so prepare your own light sets it will help you a lot to separate yourself and help to attract attention from people so it's day one and i woke up at 5 30 after three hours of sleep got myself ready and my little mini pouch and i'm walking to the brt station when everything is so dark and seeing the sun come out on the way to convention center Heading to the convention center with the crowd and walking, walking. Good news is that having a tag, you don't have to queue outside, you can straight away walk inside the hall. And here are some insights of our booth you know, the trash bag and all the stocks behind that you cannot see. And a last shot for our first day of thing before the lights are on it's quite comfy sitting inside it's not too packed and our booth neighbor is so damn cute that products are so cute a bit selfie moment before i got too tired here i am taking some customer pov photos and you can see how lighting helps a lot and just a small flex that i took photo with anima <laughs> And during day 2, my boyfriend visited and he bought me some cute stuff to hang on my lanyard. And actually that's all, CF is ending and we're packing up our shit. <laughs> I actually didn't get much chance to step outside of our booth because I'm trying to make sales and yeah, the people are so crowded, I was too lazy to walk around. But I, I had some chance to get some things from some of the artists. Two days was so fast and everyone was packing up and leaving. We left quite early because we are all hungry and we're craving for K-Fry. These are all the things I got from day one and day two. It's really not that much because it's so tiring to walk around with so many people and heat and uh, we couldn't breathe with the mask on. And here are some random photos with some post-event thoughts. So first thing is, I know you're panicking or worrying if you are boothing for the first time. 
it won't be easy for the first one two hours because most of the people are still queuing or they didn't know there is a third hall there or they are heading to their pre-ordered products so it's very normal that they won't stop by they will just pass by and they will not look at you at all but it's okay slowly people will come and if your booth setup is satisfied and you said hi you be nice you try to stop them when they are passing by slowing down greet them entertain them talk to them chit chat or something they might buy your things and also try to be nice to your booth mates you can give them some snacks or talk to them or exchange some free stuff make friends making friends is the most important thing because i've been not active on social media for a while so uh that is the most thing i wanted to do and gratefully both of my booth mates left and right was so very nice they are my senpais and yeah and treat your treat your booth mate well try to help each other try to treat food <laughs> for with each other or something yeah it will be a fun experience for sure for you me everyone and i understand that it's a very not pleasant experience for a lot of people in day one because the crowd is not managed well at all and it was too crowded i don't know why they separated all the halls like a lot of people are lost so they have to come to our booth and ask oh where is who's 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 booth and we have to say oh it's actually at the next hall and they were like oh no i have to go out and queue again that was so ho- hopeless i cannot i cannot and i tried to walk around for less than half an hour and i can experience that hardness of breathing yeah it's very hard so i hope you guys will enjoy the next con like next cf or nichijen or tagcc or something and i hope i can move there and most importantly i hope this video if anyone is watching and if anyone needs it i hope it helps you and thank you for watching till the end